Uh, Dale, are you, you still on mute if you're speaking? There we go. Sorry, I lost the mute button. <laughs> It's, uh, it's been how long of lockdown and still can't find a new button. Um, so the context for what we wanted to do um, was just building some alternations around recruiting. Um, it's something that has needed doing and I've kind of been playing around with it a little bit since I've joined but haven't had anything uh, like fully fleshed out. So big thanks to the uh, folks who've helped me in the Bundesliga design up, up until now. Um, basically, the problem that we've got uh, is that we, we want to do... Um, kind of some data analytics based on Workable, which is our HR system. So we can look at Workable and understand how many candidates we have in roles, how many we're interviewing, how much activity do we need to do, how much uh, like reach out messages do we need to send on LinkedIn and things like this. Um, and at the minute, the, the kind of analytics portion of Workable is all kind of very, very um, like reactive. It's kind of looking back at what's already happened rather than giving you any information for help going forwards. Um, They've got a really unfriendly API, um, and it's kind of hard to actually get any data out of it. So what we've done um, is use the uh, workable trigger that uh, Ricardo put together, um, and we've uh, basically created this pipeline that pulls data through both into Google Sheets um, and into Postgres, right? And this is collecting uh, data about when candidates are created within Workable, uh, as well as when candidates are moved through different stages, right? So when they move from like interview to setting a technical test, offer or, or whatever, right? Um, these kind of different functions will allow us to have a look at, um, you know, really, really quick access uh, spreadsheet stuff. Also, um, kind of keeping it in, in Postgres so we can do like much more analytics on um, some sort of BI tools. So we're thinking like uh, three tool in space one of them would be really really useful for us the big problem and where we spent like a lot of time today was working out okay so how do we um trigger this when a candidate's disqualified um and as you can see that's not not something that workable caters for um and basically they they charge money for like a bi link that enables all of these other functions so we have to build a workaround um so can you see this tab now has the, has the it should have changed right um so we built uh, another workflow that starts with this cron trigger um basically what this does is go through all of the uh, data that's being pulled um from uh, uh, from workable already looks at what's in our google sheet compares it back to workable and has a look if any of those candidates have moved into a disqualified stage and at that point it prompts us and adds a new line of data there so we can see that we need to sync this up to postgres as well um, but eventually we should just have this live database going through um, and it's already started to work uh, which is really really cool so if we click over here we can see that like as of today we're now collecting a bunch of data about um, you know when people are moving through all of these different stages so that's really cool and then um, Leone has been working on a workable node that's not a trigger as well Leone. yes uh, I think you have to stop yeah Yes. Uh, can you see my screen? Yeah. Cool. Okay, so I was working on uh, the workable node, um, which is hopefully working now. Um, so we can change in the workflow that they just showed um, the HTTP request node and use in the future our um, yeah our workable node. And um, right now, um, what the node can do is. Um, get all the candidates um, and you can choose either like a specific candidate uh, and you can filter um, the candidate by ID or you can get all candidates.